What up, what up, what up? Unbreakable Kicks Army. In my seven years of doing sneaker YouTube, I have never had to film a video three times in a row. First time I filmed it, memory card messed up. Second time I filmed it, same issue. Third time is a charm, Army. Smash that thumbs up because I wanted to get this content out for you guys. I know it's been a minute since I've dropped content. My B-Day is next week on the 31st. And like I said, starting February 1st, I am giving you guys that daily content. It's the perfect time. All-Star Weekend. To me, one of the busiest seasons as far as being a sneakerhead. Along with Holiday 2024. Now, look. Holiday 2024 is so dope, Army. This is honestly one of the best holiday years we've had in a very, very long time. Now, as far as just upcoming releases, I did hit you guys with the Air Jordan 3 Ivory Crab video. I do have size 8 through 13 still shipping now, Army ASAP. So make sure y'all hit me up on IG. These are going out now. So if you do need them, the prices is better than what it was at first, Army, because of course we're closer to the release date. But again, if you need these joints, just make sure you hit me up on IG along with checking out this video. And make sure you check out the video on the Air Jordan 4 Bread Reimagines, man. Because look, like, like I said in that video, those joints are just giving me Air Jordan 1 lost and found vibes. It's the demand. And I'm honestly surprised that the price is still where it's at. Them joints still a $400 shoe right now. Now, I know closer to the shot drop, and I'm still praying that Jordan Brand give us that shot drop. They always do. It's an all-star weekend sneaker. They always give us that shot drop. It's honestly just when it's going to happen because we know it happens around two weeks before. Nike sometimes give us that heads up as well. And again, this is the highlight of all-star weekend so I can see it happening. Now, the thing is... It's also tax time. Now, that's the difference between when Lost and Founds drop and when these drop. Lost and Founds drop kind of closer to the end of the year. These drop in prime tax time, and it's an Air Jordan 4, and it got that SB shape. Like, if this is a sneaker that you want, make sure you put your feet to the street so that way you are able to grab these joints for retail. Now, if you one of those ones that, oh, I gotta be first. I gotta be first. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you gonna spend that dollar for them right now. But, you know, again, if I was to rank the demand of the reimagines, these brand fours would definitely be second. I feel like the demand is higher on these over the Air Jordan 3 reimagines. I really do. And it's a dope sneaker. Now, y'all know I'm OG over everything. But, again, check out the video I dropped on the Air Jordan 4 brand reimagined. That leather pair is nice, man. And I definitely can see them joints moving. Like, that's not one of them, oh, I'm going to wake up at, you know, oh, I just got out of bed. I'm going to wake up at 3 o'clock and go pick up a pair. Like, them joints going to move. I, I definitely think that them joints going to have some traction on them. So, again, let me know how y'all feel about those in the comment section below. And, again, man, we're just waiting on that shot drop. Because I feel like when the shot drop happened, that price is definitely going to go down. You know, as far as Chicago, it was only like three mom and pop shops who actually had pairs early. And the thing is, when it comes to Chicago, Chicago, and I can put money on this army, Chicago has the most, the most mom and pop shops in the entire country. I can't name another city or state that got more mom and pop shops. I go, we just the mecca of of shoes. Like we really, I know New York and I know LA. Y'all might, y'all might hey, have a little bit of you know dispute, but I remember, hey, when that Jordan store was open downtown, we had half Chicago, half New York in them lines. Hey, anybody who waited at the Jordan store downtown Chicago can attest to that, man. So, again, Army, y'all let me know if y'all still waiting on them. Air Jordan 4 bread rematch to go down. Or you like break look, I ain't playing no games. I need them joints now. And not an already pulled the trigger. Let me know about those in the comment section below. Next up, Army, I want to talk about the news that we got regarding the Air Jordan 11 Legend Blues. Now, they scrapping the name Columbia. Them joints is not the Air Jordan 11 Columbia's. Now, OG heads, they still going to call them Columbia's. I still call them Columbia's. But the official name is the Air Jordan 11 Legend Blues. Just how it was in 2014. Ten years later, we getting the same shoe. But we getting that OG high cut pattern leather that I've been wanting. It's the last OG we need with those specs. And shout out to Z Sneakerhead and Sneaker Files. We actually have the release date for them joints too, which will be December 
14th. And it's just crazy to think that we be knowing this stuff a year in advance. So if you're one of those type of people who, man, I only buy myself five retros a year, that's great for you. So you can go ahead and mark off your calendar. You can be able to get your ducks in whatever row you need them to be. So that way you can execute and get them dubs at the end of the year. So again, December 14th is the release date for the Air Jordan 11 Legend Blues. Now, he also posted some Air Jordan 11 Gamma Lows. Now, as he's sneaking in strategic with how he make his posts. Now, I can see us getting them joints within, hey, I say the next year or two. And then maybe another year or two later, we get the Air Jordan 11 Gammas. Because it's almost to the point where, like, what other non-OG can y'all give us that's really going to have that demand like that? Because the Gammas got the demand. And I feel like when it comes to the Air Jordan 11 Gammas, either you like them or you hate them. It's really no in-between. It really ain't no riding the fence for the gamers. Again, either you love them or you absolutely hate them, but they still have that core audience that really, really want them joints to drop. And I can see Jordan Brand giving us the low version of those before they give us a retro of the OGs because we've never seen a low air Jordan 11 Gamma. And just like those Space Jam 11 lows that's dropping, man, if it was any time to sell me up on an air Jordan 11 low, because y'all know I cannot stand them. It would be them Space Jam. The Space Jam 11 lows look beautiful, man. Beautiful. Almost to the point I want to put them on the list. I still may pass on them, Army, because, I mean, the 2009 Space Jams is, is goaded. That's my favorite Air Jordan 11 of all time. Now, if it was the 11 lows with the Royal Blue Jump, man, y'all got me sold. But I just stick with my OG Space Jams, and I'll be cool. As for right now, I'm going to say that. And last but not least, Army, regarding regarding holiday 2024 because this one caught me off guard i can't believe i'm doing this video three times yo <laughs> it's just funny because now it's just programmed in my head now i gotta give a shout out to my bros over there at english souls man for supplying these man army and i did an unboxing on these a couple months ago i'm not sure if y'all caught that but the sneakers i'm talking about man we are getting the air jordan one low howard bison pe's holiday 2024 now this one caught me off guard because i didn't see jordan brand releasing the air jordan one lows to the public now look i do think that the air jordan one low ogs is the new move for the air jordan ones air jordan one og highs I, mean, I don't want to say played out, but they, they low-key that ran their course. And I just noticing that they've been paying a lot of attention to the Air Jordan 1 lows. Now, again, like I mentioned, Army, I did do uh unboxing on some of my retro one low collegiate not too long ago. Like I got the UNC colorway right here. UNC one low here. I got the Air Jordan 1 Marquette lows right here i do got the georgetown's in the vault i also have the ucla i want to say the only ones i'm missing is florida and i'm also missing michigan which is weird because my boy english souls are based in michigan all of my michigan pe's i've gotten from my bros over there at english souls and again i'm just missing florida I want to say I'm missing Michigan. I, I think I got UCLA. I got a double check arm. These joints smack. Out of all of the collegiate one lows, the Howard Bison colorway is my favorite. The red pops on these. You got that stingray right here on the Nike swoosh. You got your velvet or you got your quilted sock liner with the Howard Bison logo on the insole. The main difference between the low collegiates and the high collegiates is you still got the stingray on the nike swoosh on the highs one of the sneakers have nike air on the tongue and the other sneaker has the actual school logo on the lows you just got nike air on both of the sneakers again these are scheduled to drop holiday 2024 and i mean it is said that these are gonna look exactly like the pe's with the howard brandon but they could switch the colorway or they could do some minor changes just how they did the air jordan 12 michigan pe's very very close to the PEs, the GR pair, it was just a couple small changes like the back tab and things of that nature, but hey, it still was close to the OG sample. The gum bottom on these joints, you got your Nike's check right there on the toe cap. I wonder if they're going to give us more collegiate GRs like UCLA or Marquette or more Michigans. Like, I don't think Howard is going to be the be-all, end-all, and I do see that they got the 23s as far as the 
PEs this year, and I probably pass on those. I'm not the hottest on those, and if I were to get them, I wouldn't spend like no crazy, crazy bread because the PEs do start out high, and then as the years go down, they can tend to go down in price too, man. So I might just pull the trigger on those a little bit later. But again, Army, if you do want to see the unboxing of like the Howards, the Oklahomas, the Marquettes, the UNCs. Check out the video that I posted a couple months ago, man, unboxing all of these, and you can get an up-close look at these joints, man, because, again, this colorway is fire, and to add these for holiday 2024, I mean, a lot of y'all gonna like these, man, so let me know how y'all feel about these in the comment section below. Also, let me know how you guys feel about the Air Jordan 4 Brea Reimagine and the Air Jordan 11 Legend Blues. I mean, I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. And other than that, you got your boy Unbreak. Smash that thumbs up for the third time me doing this video, Army. Hey, I was, I, man, I want to get this content out for y'all today, Army. So I said, bump it. I'm still going to do it. I love you guys. I appreciate y'all. Smash that thumbs up notification bell. That Army, February 1st. We back on that daily content. I love you guys. You got your boy Unbreakable. Got the Unbreakable vault. Unbreakable Army sent strong. Like always, Army, I got so much gratitude for y'all. Gratitude merch is dropping very, very soon. I love you guys, say strong like always. Hug your loved ones, and we out. I hit a brickable for the users. He the plug, call him when I need him. He's old tough, but he get a music. Yo, it's old him first season. Them most beefy looking like two laps. Two laps, cause your ass taking nails.